it going? Big Super right Dog now. Man here and my sidekick. We need to fight Jay. crime. Hey. hey, Blue Jay. Is this yeah. gonna get us our jobs back? Yeah, it will. This will get us our jobs okay. back. I oh, smell yes. success. Oh, <laughs> oh success. man, like it's amazing. Okay, Blue Jay, give a car. I'm not sure what happened there. You gotta pick up the slack. Oh, okay. I love you. Hey, Farrell, guess where we're at? Uh, what do you think? Are we at the, uh, what, the zoo? It's like a zoo, for sure. Or are we at the, uh, what, the library? It's definitely not a library. You know where we're at, folks? We are at Salt Lake's first ever Comic-Con. Can you believe it? This place is out of control. If you miss Comic-Con, you've missed out. And you know what? You probably missed Farrell changing his shirt, because when you watch the episode, he's not wearing this shirt. I hate to give anything away. We got Superman. We got Wonder Woman. We got it. That's Superwoman, Craig. Look at that. That's an S. Supergirl. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best gig ever, folks. Check it out. Craig Bielek at Comic Con. Yeah, baby. This is the. These are the first two nice people I've ran into all day. Who are you? Um, Joker, of course. Of course, and? The Mad Hatter. Of course. How are you guys doing? You having fun at Comic-Con? I had more fun on Thursday. It's a little bit too crowded today. <laughs> Still having some fun. Now, wait a minute. I thought the Joker liked chaos. I thought that was what you were all about. The Joker also gave birth to Batman, and Batman's not digging the chaos. That's your Batman? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I okay, That is Batman right there, the future of Batman. Batman when he still had a diaper. How old is he? Um, she. Oh, it's a she. I'm sorry. Well, it can't be Batman then. It has to be Bat... Girl, I suppose. Um, she's four months. Really? Super cute. Buddy, I am here with... Adam Kelly. And can you tell me, you take your dinosaur for a walk often, or...? Oh, uh, we do. All the time, really. He, him and uh, we have Rex and uh, we have Lucy, who's a raptor. Really? And so what exactly... That's really cool. What exactly is this for? Uh, we do uh, parties, company events, pranks, whatever people want to hire us for. Oh, really? Yeah. So just whatever? Or just whatever. <laughs> what if someone punches out your dinosaur scaring them? Uh, well, it hasn't happened yet. We've, the worst we've had is a chihuahua running after us. <laughs> but as soon as we turned around, the chihuahua's out. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Big old mean teeth. I love Comic-Con. Where else can you run into people like this? Who, who, who are you? What's happening? Well, I'm just an Uchiha member that uh, went rogue, and uh, this is Lady Bane. This is Lady Bane. Now, a lot of you people out there may not have known, but Lady Bane exists. You are Lady Bane, right? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of hard for Lady Bane to talk and all that. First day at Comic-Con, or have you been here a bunch? I've been here all three days. All three days? And have you ever gotten bored? Uh, no, it's been great. All the people, all the different costumes and stuff, it's really fun to see. Uh, Everybody's cool like you. Everybody's cool like me? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Look around at these people. Howdy, I'm here with... Batman. Batman. I had to ask, right? That's a dumb question. So what, what brings you down to uh, Salt Lake Comic Con today? I uh, hear there was a lot of crime running rampant. Thought I'd uh, try to keep things under control. Yeah, I saw I saw the Joker earlier. He was going that way. I don't know if he's, if he's running and hiding from you, but... He's on my list. <laughs> what is her real name? Alara. Alara. That's even kind of a cool name for Comic-Con. Well, I mean, if it was like Betty or something like that, that wouldn't be good, but Alara, man. It sounds like, I'm from the planet Alara. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your eyelashes. I don't know. They're eyelashes. <laughs> she doesn't have much to say, does she? They're really weird. Like, when you blink, you can see them moving. And, like, they wiggle. <laughs> really? Yeah. Imagine that. Eyelashes that move. Yes. Let's see. Let's give us a Okay, look at the camera. Give us a demonstration. <laughs> I'm loving it. You guys going to come to Comic-Con next year? Of course. On a calmer day? No. We'll do all three days again. Sweet. Sweet. And by that time, Batman will be a toddler. I know. We'll have to get a different costume for her. 
You guys rock. I love the costumes. Thanks for talking. No problem. You know what you could do would be great? I just thought of this. You gotta have like a Godzilla costume, and then you've got a new excuse to make fire shoot out the end of his mouth. That's true. If uh, we could, uh, we're just getting it on fire, though. <laughs> yeah, probably. Just put some fireproof material around or something. Yeah, the spray. <laughs> Cool, so you guys got a website or something? How would we want to have a dinosaur come to our party? How would we do that? Uh, you can go to uh, dinoevent.com or you can call us at 435-647-6633. All man. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. You know, I can't really see you, Lady Bane, but your eyes are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I mean, really, if I was going to get killed by a terrorist, this is the one right here. This is the one that I would like to go with and all that. Lady Bane, what would you say to anybody that thinks maybe, you know, Comic-Con, eh, who cares? Big deal? Yes, very big deal. What's your favorite part? Just everyone that shows up dressed up in costume. Yeah. Enthusiasm. Yeah. Are you hungry yet? Because you can't really eat a corn dog through that, can you? No. <laughs> No wonder she's so skinny. All right. All right. Look into our camera there and tell people to come to Comic-Con. Hey, come to Comic-Con. Help us put Utah on the map. Uh, this is real. This is real, and so will Utah be from now on. Thank you, Lady Bane. Thank you, cool guy who said I was a cool guy. He said it, not me. <laughs> so let me ask you, have you made this, this costume? Is it all yours? You, you made it yourself? Or? Uh, I bought this part and the cowl from a guy out of Florida called Jester FX. He does a lot of good work, a lot of sculpting work. And then the rest of it's just kind of pieced together. Um, Kevlar knuckle, uh, combat gloves, combat boots. And then I just kind of adhered a couple of like little functional items, you know, wallet, phone, keys kind of thing for the utility belt. Because you have no uh, pockets in your Yeah, no pockets. <laughs> so I'm at Comic-Con and, uh, you know, I expected to see comics. I even expected to see cons. I just didn't know I was going to see Cookie Man. <laughs> what, what, what is this? Who are you and what is going on? It's the Tart Toter from uh, Adventure Time. Oh, so this is an actual comic thing. Yeah, it's a TV show. Aha, uh -huh. and describe your character. What is going on with him? Uh, he is the Tart Toter. He's the Royal Tart Toter, that is. And oh, the Royal. Yes. Yeah, that makes a lot of difference. He's gone a little bit uh, off the deep end. Um, yeah, he was supposed to deliver the tarts, but he's gone a little uh, crazy and can't quite figure it out. Dude, that would be great for scaring little old ladies. I would love it. Can I borrow that? And, <laughs> can I borrow that and go to the convalescent home? Absolutely. <laughs> hey, that's, that's where the dinosaur belongs. Yeah. A convalescent home. All the rest of them. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's got the Captain America stuff. Oh, he does. Yeah. He's a, he wanted to dress up. He, the, the dinosaurs wanted to dress up. That's great. Oh, I just got, I just got hit by a tail of a dinosaur. Comic-Con, and I knew I was going to see comics. I even thought I might see a few cons, but I didn't know I was going to see any games. <laughs> this is awesome. Twister, right here. There you go. Yep, it's Twister. You, I've even got my board. We can play. Nobody's accosted me yet, though, so no hands have touched the actual colors yet. But there, it's still early in the day. It can oh, happen. I'm sure. Right? So you're telling me no guys have come up to you and said, left hand blue. It's mostly <laughs> children. Mostly children have been touching in places that they shouldn't be touching. <laughs> so where else would you, you, you do this for, like, Halloween? Do you go to different events? What yeah, do you well, we do with I it? I bartend at uh, the Club Elevate and Hotel right across the street, and, you know, we're we're big into we're doing a comic-con theme this whole weekend actually there's a $500 costume contest tonight oh, wow. which I can't enter <laughs> that ain't right you'll have the best costume there oh Batman's gonna be getting everybody wasted pouring the dream tonight <laughs> so come down let Batman get you hammered right on man hey appreciate your time thank you appreciate you thank you very much he's getting all kinds of crazy so did you make this costume my wife did your wife made this costume how long did it take um probably 12 hours or so at, at least I'd say yeah. That is a lot of felt. And let me tell you, I'm kind of warm here, you know, in my shirt, my, my Robot Monster shirt, by the way. Do you know what Robot Monster is? I don't. That's awesome. Oh, 1950s science fiction film. Very, very bad. But my point is, I'm hot anyway. I mean, are you hot? A little bit, yeah. It's uh, warm. I would think so. I would <laughs> think so. All right. Look at some that camera right there. Tell people why they should come to Comic-Con. It's a great experience. So? Come or? Come or what? 
Come or this guy will come and kill you. Oh, yeah. Howdy, I'm here with Pat. And Pat, I, from what I understand, you tried to take my job yesterday. Is there any truth to that, or is Bill just trying to get me excited? I did. Oh, you did take it. There's no... <laughs> And, and do you feel bad about that at all? No. I got a wife, six kids, and a girlfriend. How am I supposed to feed them with no job? Food stamps. <laughs> I, yeah, you know what? I should do that, but, you know. Obamacare's coming soon. I hear that's not a good deal. It's not a good deal. <laughs> well, you know, when you dress up as a game, the people are known to, to you know, touch each other and fall all over each other. You're kind of asking for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know how that sounds, liberals. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. Yeah, no, I agree. I knew what I was getting myself into. <laughs> so why did you choose this costume? So it's actually something I wore for Halloween a couple of years ago, and I thought today would be a good day to break it out, and family and friends supported it, so here I am. Okay, so who have we got with you? This is my partner. He is. Joey, you have to introduce yourself. Uh, I am Animal Man, a B-grade DC Comics character that nobody remembers. Really? Does anybody out there remember that? Please drive to the station and let us know if you do. Somebody's got to remember it. You do. Maybe. Maybe. One guy so far in this whole conference has uh, has mentioned knowing who I am. So He probably came up to you like, like he'd seen God or something. He was like, this is amazing. I've never seen this before. And, and we had to get our pictures. Oh, nice. Excellent. Well, I was disproved on, on camera. That's fine. Howdy, I am here with... Uh, Trey. Trey or, or Hellboy. Hellboy, oh whatever. Sorry. So what, uh, what, what, what's the, uh, the reason behind the Hellboy costume? Is there a special meaning to you? Or? Um, I like the character, and I'm kind of a big guy, so I thought it was a good one for me. Go ahead and just try it out, huh? Yeah, a lot of fun. It's not often that a cookie man tells me I should go talk to somebody. Well, but that, that would be my son. Oh, that is your son. That is right. So tell us who you are and why you're here, and then explain your costume, because some people might not know. I know. Well, I'm Deborah Reed, uh -huh. uh, best or worst known for the movie Troll 2. <laughs> I was the Troll 2 queen. <laughs> and uh, so this is an, actually a costume from the movie but I'm just having a little fun and some fans have wanted me to come, so I just, you know, here I am. I'm telling you right now, there are some people out there wetting their pants watching you because you know, as you know, <laughs> Troll 2 has taken on kind of a life of its own, right? It definitely is, yes. It, it, uh, a, a worldwide cult classic and exactly. it's surprising and the most delightful fun fans in the world, if, anywhere, they're, <laughs> they're wonderful, they really are. So can you tell me a little bit about what it is you're doing down here? Yeah, we're here with the Paranormal Unity Group. These are all different paranormal teams that have come in, pulled together. My wife and I, we're with K-Talk Radio. We do a show six nights a week on AM 630. And we're just here to educate the public about paranormal awareness. Are, are you telling the most important thing about the paranormal? No. That there's no such thing as ghosts? I've never seen one. Me either! But, you know, hey, it's a money maker. <laughs> so this guy's like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm just, just hey, being honest. It's making money, though. <laughs> just being honest. You know what? The other thing that's really cool about it is I swear you made that whole thing out of duct tape. Uh, it is duct tape. Uh, there's a shirt and sweatpants underneath, but uh, it's overall duct tape. And she did it. This is the greatest gig ever, guys. I got to tell you, really, this is this is so fun. And I, I do not know this, but I'm going to look it up as soon as I get home. You should. You should. He can tap into the morphogenetic field. Just remember that. <laughs> I will never remember that. I don't know. I don't even know what that man said. I really I really don't. So what we have is Mr. Sticky Man and uh, and and then Twister right here. There you go. Yeah. All right. Wait, let's spin okay. before we go. Ready? Oh. Right hand red. Where is a red? Oh, here we go. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Honey, if you're watching out there, this is purely a job. <laughs> All right, I got to take some time off. <laughs> Thank you guys Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thanks so much. So do you just like, do you do this at Halloween time? Do you come to like conventions like this? Where else would you, would you, would you dress like this? This is my first con. Um, and so... Uh, I, I usually try to go kind of nuts for Halloween, but, you know, maybe like a dozen people see it. And so I decided I was going to go to a con. I wanted to go absolutely nuts and cosplay. And so really, really, really put the costume because yeah. it, it's really put together. It's elaborate. Um, yeah, thank you. I, uh, you know, took a lot of time on it. Uh, my friends and I bought our tickets back in July and started work on the costume then. Wow. You guys are ready for this, huh? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it wacky that... 
what some critics describe as the worst movie ever made in history, and trust me, there's been a lot of bad movies, <laughs> but isn't it wacky that it could take on a life of its own? Well, it is wacky and wonderful, and you know, I've always said if I couldn't be in the best movie, I'd certainly even rather be in the worst movie because it's been so, it's had longevity. and. Uh, <laughs> It's when you were making it, did you have any idea, I mean, even in the back of your mind, did you stop and think, you know what, this is going to be a cult classic, midnight movies, video, the whole bit? No, that I did not know, but I did know that it was odd, <laughs> that it had a life of its own, and it wasn't the best movie ever made, that's for sure, you know. It was very campy, and, and I love camp, so it was right up my alley. It was perfect, you know, I've always done camp. Honestly, have you ever experienced anything paranormal at all? No. Me, me either, and I. we have a group that we do a show with, and I've went and done a couple of things, and uh, so far I've seen nothing other than I've lost a lot of sleep. I think I've seen the ghost of my sleep in, in the past. <laughs> no, we, you know, well, on the radio show, we interview a lot of people and had a lot of guests on, and I guess it's about being open-minded, whether you believe or not, you know, it's up to you. Unicorns, cowboys, purple hair, all kinds of crazy stuff at Comic-Con. Seriously, this is the best gig I've ever done. I'm not kidding you. You know what? There's going to be people out there that will not know your character. So explain who you are and what, what it's all about. Okay? okay. Come on, spill. <laughs> okay, I'm Applejack from My Little Pony. Applejack from My Little Pony and? I'm Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony. My Little Pony, really? I didn't even know that still existed. Yes, we're all from My Little Pony. I'm Rarity. I'm Twilight Sparkle. And I am Fluttershy. What is My Little Pony? It's like all about friendship, you know? <laughs> yeah. My Little Ponies are animated cartoon that are ponies and unicorns, and it's about friendship, so they teach you friendship values. And then they kill you. Nope. No. Really? I mean, I mean. You with friendship feels. <laughs> It is quite the event. You know, Bill said, hey, let's go do Comic Con. I'm like, why? There's going to be like four people and... Well, you know, that was the thing. When I first saw the ad saying Salt Lake was having their first Comic Con, I thought that's pretty cool. And I saw the list of people who were going to be here. I'm like, that's a very good list for, you know, their first year. And then they announced Shatner was going to be here. And I'm like, oh, wow, stuff just got real. And from there, it's just snowballed. It's gotten huge. And that's when... And... This is really cool. This, especially for me, this being my first con, this is a great, great experience so far. It is. It's really cool. All right. Well, hey, thank you for your time. Oh, look at that. I got to give him knuckles. Yes. Now, we're really going to give the fans out there what they want. Okay. Classic famous line of yours from Troll 2. Um. Ah, uh, character. Uh, no, think about the toxins. My life is complete. I have now, I have now lived through everything. Uh, <laughs> this is the greatest job ever. <laughs> yeah, and you do it. So well. And here you go, folks. Troll two. You know it. There you go. And look, Facebook. it's on Facebook. There's a QR code right there. Uh, I'm serious. My life is complete. <laughs> uh, gotta love you. Thank you. And like I say, I, I hate to say, there's no such thing. You people are crazy because I almost feel like I'm insulting them. But there, there must be something there. If that many people are in it and there's that many believers and there's that many things going on, there must be something there, right? There could be. There could be. But a lot of people, you need to see it to believe it. And that's kind of how I am. I'm not a skeptic, but I'm skeptical. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm both. I'm a skeptical skeptic. That's the best way to be. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, man. Well, I'll let you get back to talking to people, but I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a great day. You too. Take care. I thought, I thought Comic-Con was all about the scary stuff, you know? The Joker and Bane and all that kind of yeah, stuff. the magic rainbow somewhere. <laughs> See? Rainbow. The rainbow. You know what? When you did that, do it again. We can all do it. <laughs> the magic rainbow Comic-Con. I felt something. I, I mean, I seriously felt something. Do it again. The magic rainbow. Friendship is magic. See? Yeah. We're feeling our magic. <laughs> I'm getting woozy. I love you people out there. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love that. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm here with... Lydia. Matt. And can you guys tell me a little bit about what you're doing down here at Comic-Con? We're here at the Paranormal booth. Uh, we're trying to promote Paranormal Unity to try and bring all the Paranormal teams here in the Valley together. And what, what do you think that will accomplish if you get everybody together? Or what are you hoping to accomplish? Let me put it that way. Uh, friendship. 
friendship, friendship teaming up on investigations. Maybe resources, more places yeah. you can go, everybody can. Exactly. This is Craig Bielek at Comcast fulfilling something on my bucket list, and that is talk to a tall man in a black bra. Yes, <laughs> it, folks, it's finally happened. All right, so who are you, and what is your character? And, and please don't do that anymore. It's making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> I am a sexy space babe. I'll say. I just came here to have fun, so who cares? The sexy space babe. Who are you? I'm Booker DeWitt. What? Booker DeWitt. I'm a detective. Oh, okay. You're on the case. Well, yeah, I'm mainly just following him around. Okay, and this nice girl with the measles. Who are you? <laughs> They're supposed to be dots out of a comic book. I'm oh, a comic book character. It's the printing process, right? Definitely. <laughs> I got it. From a distance, I think. Uh, yeah, much better from a distance, but a lot of women are. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. He's oh. behind him, in front of us. Alrighty, I'm here with Mitch White. And Mitch, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing down here? Well, I'm a cryptozoologist, and my specialty is Bigfoot. Arizona's Bigfoot. Is it Arizona? They they live in different cities or different states now? Oh, they live all across the world. So. I saw him walking around. It was Chewbacca that was walking around earlier, but he looks a lot like Bigfoot. Yeah, kind of does, doesn't he? What would you say to somebody that doesn't think they should come to Comic-Con? You should totally come. Like, hello, the magic rainbow's leading you here. Stop it. Stop it. I'm serious. My heart is getting so warm. Okay, I mean, I'm here. With you. Ah, <laughs> knock it off. Enough. Enough. I'm begging. <laughs> yeah, but totally, you guys should come. You guys know there's no such thing as ghosts, right? You know, you know that, right? <laughs> Everybody has their own belief. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been on a couple investigations. I was telling the, 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 the K-Talk guy, I haven't even seen anything remotely close to, to anything at all. How, how about you? What have you seen? Oh, I've seen a full black apparition run right in front of me before. No. I'm not even kidding you, right? At Asylum 49 in Twilla, Utah. Well, yeah, that's a haunted house. It's supposed to be. Yeah, that's right. We were there in April, though, not when the haunted house was actually up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, maybe someone was just working overtime that day. That's right. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> you, you never know. So you got anything in there? All natural. That's right. Baby. <laughs> that's right. You don't need anything to prop you up, do you? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> How long have you guys been at Comic-Con today? Uh, seven hours. Yeah. We've been here since about 8 o'clock, so yeah. Seven. seven hours. What have you done for seven hours, man? I don't even know. Well, I know you because you're, you're, you're investigating. I can't tell you anything. You got so. the magnifying glass and everything? I got a gun. That's what I got. You have a gun? This interview's <laughs> over. <laughs> this is awesome. Tell everybody to come to Comic-Con. Come to Comic-Con! Come to Comic-Con! Come on, like right now. Do what the sexy space babe says. Space, where no one can hear you scream. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything? Yes. I've uh, come face to face with them about eight times now. Really? Yeah. You got, any, you got any pictures or any video or anything? Well, this is the best picture that I've come up with so far. That's the best one, huh? That's the best one. And uh, I do have other uh, faces on my website. And um, I, I started what's called a face database. And the, the whole idea is to get uh, matches, matches on faces from different times and different places. If I can match up the faces, then their probability of being real is good, you know. Batman, Superman, Star Trek, Boy Scouts. Kind of. Young Indiana Jones, which was a Boy Scout. Cool! That is so awesome! Indy Jones! Yeah, exactly. Everybody th keeps thinking Moonrise Kingdom. And you know what? That's exactly what I thought. Because of her. Yeah, well, she's not dressed as anything. She, that is just like how you dress, right? Exactly. Oh my god, did I just tell somebody they were in costume when that's how they really dress? You know what? There she goes. <laughs> costume and she didn't even have to work for it. I, I really thought you guys were Moonrise Kingdom, which is one of my favorite movies. I was going for that originally, but it looked too Indiana Jones for me to pull off Moonrise. Okay. So okay. I went with Indy. How long you been at Com -Con, Comic Con today? Long enough for my feet to hurt, but <laughs> oh, maybe three hours, four hours. Yeah. Is this fun? It's a blast. Worth the money? Oh, yeah. yeah. Worth the money and the weight. Scout's honor? Scout's honor. <laughs>
So what what are some places you guys investigated? Some places that you, because I know some people want to remain anonymous, but what are some of the, the cooler places you've been that you can talk about? Uh, obviously, Asylum 49, that would be our favorite, I would think. And then also the Merker Cemetery in Merker, Utah. That one is really interesting. Uh, graveyards from the early 1800s, uh, or late 1800s, early 1900s. Really, it's like old wood headstones and all kinds of stuff, huh? Yeah, they're actually just rocks yeah, rock, for headstones. Really. They yeah, they on rocks. They have um, wooden fencing up around them. A lot of them have been washed away, but there's one of a, what, like a toddler? A little girl, yeah, that passed away. Really, it looks like something out of like a, a scene from the Disney's Haunted House with the fog rolling in. And <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's an old uh, mining town, and the town burnt down three or four times, and it's believed, of course, there's no confirmation, but it's believed that that's who's buried there, is families who died in those fires. Really? They didn't have great record keeping back then, I take uh, it. Apparently not. <laughs> not. Nope. All you guys. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you for talking with me. Yes, thank you. Everywhere I look, there's a costume. I mean, I can't, at least I think some people are in costume. I hope you're in costume. Are you in costume? Yes, yes, I am. And who are you? I am Beatrice. Oh. Or Beatrix. Oh, yes. For American. Yes, and? I am Prussia. Now, that's something I don't know. Explain. Um, it's from this anime called Italia where countries are personified as people, and I am the personification of the awesome Prussia. And I'm awesome. No, 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 he's not. I am. She's just denying it because it's too awesome for her. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. You guys are, <laughs> you guys are running the interview. Oh. Tell me about your eyes. Oh, I'm albino, so I have red eyes and I have white hair because color doesn't come into me. Yeah. So. Here, here's the thing, because I'm, I'm like extremely skeptical of Bigfoot. I, 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 I think it's the question I have is you see people they have trail cameras set up all over the place now. I mean, you think somebody would have gotten a picture of something by now? How can something so big be so elusive? Well, I'm, I'm thinking that they can probably see the infrared on the trail cams. I mean, that's so clever. I would never even thought of that. Come on. Like, like, is that why they stay away from homes? Because the remote infrared is flashing around? Could be. You never know. But uh, I have had some success with trail cams. I've gotten photos of their hands. I've gotten photos of their faces. Um, you know, some of them are pretty close up because they're trying to take the camera off the tree. But they want to take some family photos, maybe or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, one of the trail cam photos is right there, a, a hand and a face. I'm going to get with Chewbacca, and we're going to walk in front of these trail cams and just mess with people all day long. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, man. Well, hey, I appreciate your time, and good luck in your search. Oh, thank you. I love your costume. Thank you so much. Explain for the people out there that don't know who you are. I'm Vanessa Young, and I'm a Lolita here in Utah. And it's basically a fashion from Japan where you dress like a doll. And I decided just to wear Lolita today because I couldn't think of anything else to wear. So I decided to be like a doll with one with a different eye color. So it's mixed match eyes, and I decided to have my little knees right here oh yeah they look like mechanical knees huh yeah can you walk like a doll um sort of i sort of have like a walk which i used to do it at school but i creep people out with it <laughs> Honey, i'm here with with the one and only elvira correct absolutely so can you tell me oh oh good lord can you tell me what it is that you're doing down here uh, at comic-con having a little fun getting dressed up and playing with the natives <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys down here? Are you just down here for fun? Or are you down here with a, with, a, with a company, or what is it? I'm down here just by myself today. Just having a good time. Didn't bring any of your ghoul friends? Huh? Did you catch that? Tell me the truth. Are they contacts? Yes. And how do, and how do you get them in? I mean, does it hurt? No, it's just like regular contacts. You just put them in. It doesn't hurt at all. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? You having fun at Comic-Con? Yeah. A lot of people, though. I keep on getting tripped over. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Wait, she was padding. What? What is that? It's a it's a hoop skirt. Oh, okay. So it's fabric <laughs> and, like, hosing, like, piping. Okay. So. I thought it was, like, Nutcracker. You had, like, you know, children under there or something. You were going to let them out. I can fit a person in here. I've had people under here. Another character under her. Uh, You've had people under there? Yes, I can. We can't say that on TV. <laughs> 
and underneath. It's like, it's good. Oh, okay. Woo. Okay. Good. Officer, I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> All right. So tell everybody to come to Comic Con right now. Come to Comic Con, dude. It's so much fun. It is fun. Be weird. <laughs> I am here with. Hawk Girl. Uh, Nels. Just. Darth Revan. And. You guys are like 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 a superhero team of sorts, or you just dress up as your own. What 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 are we doing? Dressed up as whatever we want. Oh, so instead of like being the same, you guys are just we entirely did different. Yesterday. We did the th same thing yesterday. It's time to branch out to our own people. So you guys you guys come in here yesterday at Comic Con dressed up, and today, and are you gonna be here tomorrow dressed up? Oh yes, oh, most definitely. Yes. As, as something else or? Oh, most definitely. Oh, so we're going to have to see if we can find you and, and see what costumes you have on. Catwoman tomorrow. Is that what it'll be? Yeah. What about you? Finn from Adventure Time. Oh. And, and, and what about you? I'll be a Nightingale from Skyrim. Everybody everybody has different costumes. I love it. This is actually, I think, far more successful than they were planning. I don't know if you know this, but there's like 20,000 people outside that can't get in right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. I did not know that. I thought, like, they're still selling tickets, but I guess maybe it's a really big thing now. Yeah. They've done it. They've really done it. All right. Well, give me one good reason to come to Comic-Con. There's so many people to see here and dressing up. You got to dress up and come here. It's fun. I dressed up as an old man with a microphone. What do you think? Did I pull it off? Yeah, I think you pulled it off. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm here with... Daniel. Seth. And Tegan. And, uh, Tegan. You're a girl! Oh, I was like, they got a five o'clock shadow! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> she, she grows a better beard than me. That makes me mad. I, right. It's pretty good, I think. Can you guys explain a little to me about what it is you're doing down here? Uh, we're just having fun uh, letting out our nerdy side and uh, enjoying it. So, what have you guys, have you guys talked to any of the celebrities? Have you done anything? We mostly hung out at the uh, the Hobbit area. <laughs> uh, go, go figure, huh? Yeah, yeah right. it was a lot of fun. We got to have the guy who made the original swords sign our swords that we had, which was really cool. You ought to have him make you one. Well, he let us hold the ones he made, which was cool. Oh, did he really? Yeah, they're probably a little expensive, I would imagine. Maybe a little bit, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> But hey, it's worth it. It's a sword you can do nothing with. But hey, you know, spend ten thousand dollars. What the heck? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Might go back. You can it. just keep it forever, ever, and stare <laughs> at it forever, and it's great. <laughs> Comcast. Comcast. Comic Con at Comcast. What? Exactly. What do you know? Say that ten times. Comic Con at Comcast. Comcast at Comic Con because it's Comic Con at Comcast. Comcast is at Comic Con. Exactly. And I'm Craig from Comcast on Comic Con. Craig from Comcast at Comic Con. Well, we're in the future right now. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this. What's your character? What's going on here? How it happens. We are the music bakers. We are the dreamers of dreams. No, really though. Um, I like to dress up and this is just me dressing up and having a fun time. I, actually, you look fabulous. I mean, this is really cool. This is kind of Adam Lambert kind of thing. Now, don't get mad at me, okay? Because maybe you don't like Adam Lambert or whatever, but... It's just J-Rock. This is Japanese street fashion in the cheapest way possible, so it's so much fun. All righty, guys. Well, I will let you uh, get back to doing what you're doing, but thank you for talking to me. I appreciate it. Yep. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Why? Yeah, why do they send these, these creepy children after me? I'll attempt to talk to her, but she's probably going to give me scary looks. Can I get your name? <laughs> she just growls at me. So, is there like a like a lost child room you need to go to, or? <laughs> no. is, is, is your is your mama where you're out running around? <laughs> oh, righty. Well, hey, uh, thanks for talking. You're really creeping me out. I'm sure you're a lovely young lady, but right now you're you're killing me. Hey, thanks for talking with me. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm not picky about my girls. I like redheads. I like brunettes. I like blondes. I even like blue women. <laughs> I really do. Okay, so uh, there might be somebody out there who has no idea what your characters are. Why don't you explain? All right, we're Anne and Tan Gella. We're Twilex from Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. Tan Tween. Yeah. 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 You guys are kind of in that bar scene, right? We're we're so Boba's. Episode Twilex. one, right before the pod race. Oh, okay. So we, yes. we get him prepared for the race. Yeah. Yes, everybody knows episode one. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> These are great. Did you make them yourself? We did make yes, them. Yes, we did. Real 
really? Yes. You, so you both sewed them and all that? We yeah. sewed, glued, everything. everything. <laughs> how come How come you guys got really cool swords and this guy's got a shovel handle? <laughs> it's a stick, not a shovel handle. No, it's a hoe or a shovel handle. I know it is. No. <laughs> it's now, it's now. I, I recognize it because my parents used to beat me with one of them. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> He beats That's people the thing. with this too. Yeah. 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 It's like got some kind of whimsical, magical yes. power, I would assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's a little bit more faded and old. <laughs> can it make my childhood less traumatic? Can you guys do that for me or is it? The uh, best we could do more. is probably just beat you with it also. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to go so you guys don't. But thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Now, wait a minute. That doesn't look cheap. And I mean, seriously, I know you spent some money on those boots. Those pants, okay. They're it's all from across the world. The boots are from England. The pants are from Korea. This uh, is from Japan. This shirt is uh, some kind of hodgepodge thing I got in some Echo store. And this is really cheap uh, satin. And it's fun. This is absolutely awesome. This is the reason I come to Comic-Con. See guys like this and to talk to guys like this. You got the microphone for a second. What do you want people to know? McGrew Studios. There's a costume studio downtown on Pierpont. McGrew Studios, look it up because we make fantastic things made to order just for you and you'll look as cool as possible in them. I'm a consultant there. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Consulting. Can you, could you do my makeup? I mean, because really, you have fabulous makeup. I'll make you look like a doll. Now that'll be a challenge. I don't know, man. I be surprised what we can do at some uh, places, you know. <laughs> well, I don't want you to work on some places. I only want you to work on my eyes. We'll go from the neck up. We'll go from the neck up. <laughs> all right, there you go. Excellent interview. This is what Comcast is all about. Howdy, I'm here with the Joker and... Harley Quinn. And can you guys tell me a little bit about what you're doing down here today? Well, <laughs> mostly looking for trouble. I've tried to find Batman. I thought I've seen him once or twice, but if I can get a hold of that guy. You know, I, I, I saw him. I talked to him a minute ago. I think he's scared of you. I think so, too. You know, I've seen Robin. I bumped into him, but the boy wonder just doesn't impress me much. Actually, I think Batman was like trash talking you. I think he was calling you the giggler, I think is what he called you, actually. Well, we'll see. I've got a surprise for him, then. I've got a surprise for him. All righty. I can't wait. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. This is, I, I, to me, this is what people should come to ComCon for, is to see people that do things like this, that put effort into their costume and are really fun and original. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what you just said, but thank you. Sounded good, you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, well you've got the microphone. What do you want people to know? Come to ComCon next year. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. How long you been here? All day today. All day. All day. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys aren't supposed to say all day. You're supposed to say like one ten tune or something like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you're from outer space, right? Not a day in outer space, right? Come on, stay in character. <laughs> long time. I don't know. <laughs> a long time. Cool. Well, I think if, if I could make a deal with you guys, if you could sew this costume for me next year, this is what I'll dress as. You'll be our third twin? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll be your third whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Thank, right, you. thank you. Thank you. Farrell, I'm exhausted. Yeah, it is quite an experience here. I, you think I'm exhausted? Look at Chewbacca. I'm tired. It's hot. <laughs> it's <very laughs> hot. He looks nothing like he does on TV. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it took a little off the top. Did you have a great time at Comic-Con? I did. It's been a blast. It's been a tiring blast, but it's been a good time. You coming next year? Oh, yeah, definitely. Farrell, you coming next year? I'm going to come next year, and I'm going to find the two guys that took our job, and I'm going to have a talk with them about it. That's right. We had a couple other hosts tonight on Com uh, Comcast On Demand. Crowd surfing right here. Chewbacca, Craig, Farrell, two other guys. We'll find them. Yeah, let's, we'll handle business then. That's right. Thanks for joining us at Comic-Con. Come on back. I dare you. Ha! <laughs>